Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I'm Astrath, and I welcome you to this. Did they give a damn at this point? We will never know. Also, uh, creating settings and, and stuff. Yeah! Hip-hop! Because that was when it was actually good for a change. And Bernard Hopkins with loads of pyro. Loads of pyro. Look at all the pyro. And punching. More punching. No pyro now, but punching. Ow. That looked like it hurt. Looked like it hurt a lot. Ow! Ooh, blood! And more punching! And another punch. Yeah, I know. All my commentary is gonna be is punching, punching, more punching. That guy's. The referee's gotta stop this fight! Look at him, he's getting his ass kicked! More blood! He's not gonna have a tooth when he finishes this fight. He's down! And the champion! Again. Well, folks, so let's play Fight Night Round 2! Created by EA for the Sony PlayStation 2 in. 2005! Yeah! Alright, so. It's Bernard Hopkins again. It is time! I believe it's game modes we're looking for. Yes, career mode. We will start our new career. We'll create a new profile called called LP because this is for the let's play. So let's create this profile. Yeah. All right. So I've played fighting games before, and I've played boxing games before. HBO Boxing, Raider Rumble, Raider Rumble Two. I thought I'd give this a go because this game is actually. Sort of a decent attempt at playing, at making, sort of like the Madden of boxing. So yeah, anyway, it's time to create a new career. And make a legend. A future legend. And I've already got a good name for this guy. His name will be Tyrell. His name is the badass himself, the new man into the division. His name is Tyrell Braddock. That's the official name. And his name is going to be Wiggles. Wiggles Braddock. His name is Wiggles. Because that's just hilarious. Where's he going to be from? Let's have a look here. We're going to look for somewhere England-like. Is there anything of England? Doesn't look like it. Oh, we've got Manchester. That'll do. He is a heavyweight. You've got different weight classes. Featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, light heavy, heavyweight. So, six different weight divisions here. Actually, no, I'm not going to be heavyweight. I'm going to be light heavyweight here. My stance, we're going to have him as an orthodox. Now, if I had to come up with a, a backstory for this guy... Um, Oh, I don't know. He used to be... He used to be a bouncer at a nightclub in Salford. I, I don't know. Probably. Anyway. His style... He's obviously going to be a power striker. We're gonna... No, I mean, he's going to be tanned. He's going to be tanned, obviously. He's, he, he likes his tan. His height. We can make him really short or really tall. We're going to make him quite tall. That'll do. 190 centimeters. So very tall. Tall man. Now we can choose if he's going to be incredibly muscular. Like that. Or really fat. Like that. What we're going to do is we're going to have him as quite muscly. Oh, wait. We've gone back accidentally. All right, let's go back again. So very muscly. But not too muscly that it... Sort of makes him look too roided. That, that'll do for the moment. 
Right, now he can change his head shape and all that stuff. Let's make him look like a right freak. Because all my characters have to look like complete and utter freaks. <laughs> He's got a loaf of bread on his head. That's brilliant. He's got like no brain whatsoever. Eye position. Uh, that'll do. Alright, let's carry on. Uh, what we got here? Nose bridge. Let's make it that. I might, uh, yeah, I might actually get rid of, uh, oh, good job. We're going to give him that kind of nose. So like a crow nose. There you go. He looks like a bloody idiot. Anyway, so I might get rid of the music because the music might be like really sort of copyright and all that crap. Which would be annoying if that's the case. But, you know, I would not be surprised if that is the case. Right. <laughs> we can have him look like a complete idiot. Alright, let's give him a big jaw. It's gonna be like he's pouting. Like a monkey. He's pouting. Yeah! He will pout. He will pout at your face. Alright, let's, uh, let, let, we're gonna have him as bald, I think. Uh, he's gonna be a bald man. His eye colour is gonna be light brown. His eyebrows are going to be that, I guess. Facial hair. Let's give him a stubble with black facial hair. Looks good to me. Or we could have him with hair. We can have him with a mullet. Or something else. Short and curly. Mop top. Oh, that just looks hilarious. No. Uh, you can have him as an afro. Make him look like Will Smith from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Short fade, large afro. Look at the amount of afros you can have. It's crazy the amount of afros you can have. Dreadlocks. Side dreads. Mini dreadlocks. Dreadlocks. Mohawk. Alright, let's give him, uh, let's give him, uh, let's give him cornrows, shall we? That look, makes him look quite cool. Right, next. Rating. We've got... Uh, available points, you can see 25 available points we can use on our guy. So let's make him full power, uh, full speed. Supremes, so what power does is you have power, how hard a boxer can punch, very useful. Speed, the speed at which a boxer can throw a punch, also very useful. Agility, how fast a boxer can move around the ring. And we have stamina. Uh, controls how fast energy is gained and lost. That's very useful, actually, so we're going to be using that. And the other ones are chin, how well a boxer takes a punch to the head, body, how well a boxer takes a punch to the body, heart, uh, speed of regaining health and KO get-ups, very useful, and cuts, the ability to resist cuts, swelling, and bruises. So we're going to have him as a power speed guy. That's him. Because, obviously, being a former person... Uh, this storyline is not going to work for Mr. Terrell Braddock, is it? Anyway, congratulations! You are an amateur! Okay, so our career starts off, we start off as an amateur. Uh, where we've got to go through the amateur ranks before we can go to the heavyweight ranks. As you can see, Mr. Braddock is 20 years old. So he's, he's looking quite good. Luke Jacobs captures America, uh, uh, amateur class belt. In dramatic fourth round knockout. Defeating. Damar King. Alright, so. It's time for Terrell's debut. We are against Leon Glover. R four rounds. 300 purse. So we got a lot of money for doing that. Which is very useful. Let's go sparring. Now it's time to learn how to play the game. I know. We're just under 10 minutes in, and now we know how to play the game. We'll get into it, at least. Alright, Mr. Trainer Guy. Let's show what Mr. Braddock can do. Should be fine. Alright, so first up, we've got jabs. Jabs, you can just press the button, the, uh, the uh, right control stick upwards, and you can use that. A hook. There you go. You gotta move it slightly to the side. 
you got to move the right uh, control stick either to one side or the other and uh, to about 90 degrees and then come back on itself. So you keep it up first and then put it to 90 degrees and then go back on itself. Sort of simulating a punch, if you put it that way. Last the uppercut, you got to put it down to 180 degrees from 90 degrees and then you can do uppercuts. So yeah, very useful. Boom! We're done! Look at me wobbling around. Screw you. You can't take me out. I'm Terrell Braddock. You suck. Alright, so. That's, uh, that's sort of our first step into, into, into fight night. And we still haven't actually fought our first opponent yet. Actually, before we do anything, I'm gonna go to the fight store. Because those trunks just don't look, look good for us. So, these are the three trunks we can get. That one, which looks quite cool. That one, which also looks quite cool. That looks alright. That one looks good. That one looks good. What else we got here? We got this one, which also looks good. We got this one, which doesn't look that good. That one looks okay. As you can see, all these are free. So, equip them at your leisure. And... You can pretty much see what they do, pretty much. Oh, and now we get to the ones that actually cost money. Because what they do is they actually increase your stats, these ones. So for the moment, I'm going to stick with this one because it looks quite cool. Uh, no, no custom trunks. No licensed trunks either. We don't need them. Right. Shoes. Right, that one looks quite cool. We're going to go for that. Uh... No, these are shoes again. How about that one? Yeah, that looks not bad. Just checking to see which ones would look better. I don't know why I'm in a boxing game and I'm just there going, which ones are going to look better on my fighter? Ugh. Anyway, so, gloves now. Basic red or basic blue? I think we can go for basic red. Red looks awesome anyway. Mouth guards, that's basic. Um... Got two types of guard. We're going for the basic guard two because that looks quite cool. Uh, then we can unlock punches, uh, which we pretty much can't at the moment. Uh, taunts, and then tattoos. So let's get him a dragon on his uh, on his chest, shall we? For no reason. Um, on his back. Not sure. That looks quite cool, actually. Yeah, the infinite symbol. Nice. Let's have a family crest on one side of his arm. And on the other side of his arm, how about some thorns? Or we could have... Alright, that looks quite cool. Alright. So, here's our guy. He, now, now he looks like a fighter. Finally. Yeah! Fighter man. Right. Time to finally get our first fight underway. We're 15 minutes in nearly. And it's time for Terrell Braddock to go against Leon Glover in Braddock's first debut match. Finally. After all this time, he's finally actually getting into the ring. And Leon Glover is going to get his ass kicked. Yeah, that's the place we're at, by the way. It's a really crappy-looking underground boxing place. And our first fighter! There he is, making his debut. Wiggles! Ty uh, Tyrell Braddock! Wiggles! Can't believe I've called him Wiggles. <laughs> Come on, Wiggles Braddock! Tyrell Wiggles Braddock. Look at him. He knows what's up. And there's his opponent that no one cares about. Die! Get beaten! Alright, so in this game, you can... Uh, depends on what uh, way you choose your uh, arm to go. That's how you decide which arm will hit. You can get big hits in, as you can see. And you can parry, but we'll look about that later. There's the health bar, as you can see. Our health bar's in blue. His is in red. And we've got our stamina meter, which is in yellow. Now, oh, wow! 
That was... I didn't think I'd have to show this soon. There's a chance you can get a Haymaker shot, and that is a Haymaker punch. And the Haymaker has a chance of one hit knocking down your opponent, doesn't matter what health they are on. Very useful, that is. So, boom! Right in the side of the head. So he's down, pretty much like, first round. He's getting up, though. Okay. So his health's gonna slowly go up. So we need to try and finish this off quickly. Because his health is going up quickly. So we need to sort this out. Also, by the way, yeah, you can press R2 to do your signature special punch. As you can see, which is like that. Come on. Ooh. And when they have no health, that happens. Usually they can uh, clinch, which you can do by pressing the triangle button. And they can get themselves back in the game. So just keep wailing at them, pretty much. That's the plan. Just wail at them until they finally don't get up. Looks like he's going to get up. Also, I do not believe that the three knockdown rule is in effect. Now, the people who don't know, the three knockdown rule is if you get knocked down three times in a round, you lose. Oh, like that, pretty much. I don't think he's going to get up from that. That was a dangerous combo of shots there. Hooks and haymakers and uppercuts. And that was a right hook to the face. And he, he is bleeding. He is internal bleeding, coughing up blood. Every single shot was to the head. Will he get up from that? He might do, actually. Nope, nope, nope. His legs are wobbly. He's gone. Mr. Leon defeated by Tyrell Braddock. This was not an easy fight. This fight was bloody easy, mate. You have no clue what you're on about. Tyrell Braddock killed him. Literally killed him. Three knockdowns. You know, I hit 28 shots. He only hit 12 shots. And they did nothing to Braddock. Braddock is a beast. A beast of a human being is Braddock. So Braddock, in his first match, wins in one round. Yeah, this saving thing's probably going to get annoying after a while, I think. I wonder if there's a way for me to turn that off, by any chance. I'll probably find out in, like, the breaks or whatever, but for the moment, week five. So we're at week five, and we are age 20. Hot prospect, Tyrell Braddock. Making statement. Good. Anyway, we can now pick who we are our next opponent is, or we can turn professional, or we can retire if we wanted to, but that'd be stupid. That would probably be ending the game. We can turn professional whenever we want. Uh, which is very good, but uh, I don't want to do that just yet. So our next opponent, we're gonna we're gonna go up against Oliver McGee because that's a hilarious name, I think. Yeah, we're going against Oliver McGee in our next match. Uh, I'll do the sparring thing first, and then I'm going to uh, go for a break after that. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much more punch controls. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do sparring for the moment. Uh, pretty much it's a tutorial of telling us how to play the game, so now we're going to think about defending. Defending you can do by pressing, um, as you can see, by pressing, uh, uh, R1. If you press R1, you can block. So I'm punching him in the face. And then you can R2 and you can headbutt as well, which is quite useful, quite funny when you use that. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm trying to remember how to lean, to be honest. There you go. Okay, so you press R1 at... Oh, you, keep, you press L1, you can lean. Yeah. All right, now, you, now we're going to block punches. So you can press L1 and lean, like that. And now we're going to press... Uh, we're going to block punches now. Uh, so if you press the R1 button uh, and go to the left-hand side, you can block the left side of your head. The right-hand side blocks the right side of your head. Top blocks either, really. In the then, So you press... Ugh, okay, I'm trying to think about this. You press top right, you block the right side of your head. Top left blocks the left side of your head. Uh, bottom right blocks the right side of your body. 
and block uh, bottom left does your other your your left side. Or you can go uh, you can go uh, L1 and R1, and that will block both sides when you press. Yeah, screw you. I'm tired of you. Anyway, okay, so let's start parrying, shall we? So parrying is when you do it, like, just before they're about to hit. Like that. This leaves them wide open, for example, like that. Leaves them wide open for an attack. Yeah, an uppercutted. Alright, well, that is it for the moment. That is uh, the first part of Let's Play Fight Night Round 2. And in the next episode, we will be going up against our second opponent. So, until then, I'm Astrath, and I'll see you for the next part. I'll see you then.